Hello, my name is Michael with RodHub, and I'm very excited to discuss the release of our latest revamped workbook for deploying Cisco ASA firewalls and other Cisco-based firewalls for over a dozen of features deployed in practical networks today. Cisco's current firewall appliance is the Cisco ASA 5500 series, evolved from the Cisco PIX 500 series many of you may remember. The Cisco ASA firewalls offer many different models that can be used for small, SMB, medium, and large businesses. The Cisco ASA 5580 series is new to the product line, providing 5 to 10 gigabit firewall throughput performance for today's 10 gigabit network environments. The ASA is a component in a firewall solution that can also provide intrusion prevention, anti-X services, and web content filtering for threat control, including secure communications with site-based VPNs between locations over the internet and for remote access. In our workbook, we will show you step-by-step -step configuration for deploying the Cisco ASA with many enhancements and features, including site-based VPNs and remote access solutions. Our workbook will also provide other Cisco firewall deployments using Cisco iOS firewalls or a Cisco firewall service module that is used for the Cisco Calis 6500 series. Now, let's show some screenshots from our latest workbook. In this screenshot from our workbook, we will show you how to configure the Cisco ASA using standard firewall policies, but also using object groups for better administration on your firewall policies. We have clients that use DSL connections, which require PPPoE, but don't want to use the DSL modem. In our workbook, we will show you how to deploy PPPoE on your ASA step-by-step. -step. This is a very common request among our consulting customers today, LDAP for VPN user authentication. We will show you how to integrate Active Directory using LDAP for user authentication for remote access for centralized authentication on the network than maintaining multiple user databases. We will show troubleshooting cases of common issues and necessary configuration on the Cisco ASA. This section will continue to grow and get updated in the future. Reliability for some firewall solutions is critical for, for some of our clients. We will show you how to configure ASA failover step-by-step by using a practical design that we have deployed for many of our clients. We just renamed the IP addresses for the workbook and structured it to be step-by-step. -step. We will show you how to deploy many different type of remote access solutions from client IPsec VPN, SSL VPN, and L2TP over IPsec that is built in with many operating systems today and other ASA deployments to include some of the following, such as NAT, DHCP server to OSPF routing, remote access solutions with SSL VPN, IPsec, L2TP over IPsec, to site-based VPNs, IP SLA with dual providers, to rate limiting, and more updates added in the future. Even though the Cisco PIX is outdated, we will show deployments for some PIX features such as client VPN, PPTP, and PIX fire firewall failover. We will show you different Cisco ACL policies that can be used for guest networks, outbound policies, and RFC 1918 filtering as shown in the screenshot. These are ACL policies we deploy for many of our clients today. As for Cisco iOS firewalls, we will show you two designs you can use that provide a stateful firewall behavior like the Cisco ASA. The first one, which is my favorite of the two, is using reflective ACLs. We will show you the design, step-by-step -step configuration, and its full working configuration. The second design option is using CBAC, which includes application inspection. Again, we will provide how it is designed, deployed step-by-step, -step, and its full working configuration, plus monitoring. We will show you how to configure a firewall service module including the necessary configuration on a Cisco Calis 6500 series layer 3 switch, where this is ideal for consolidating your firewall services within your network for large environments. Here's a screenshot from this section 
showing step-by-step -step configuration for the firewall service module. Not only configuration, but we'll provide useful commands for monitoring the Cisco ASA and other Cisco-based firewalls operations, including troubleshooting tips and things to consider. We provide full configuration examples for one of our Cisco ASA designs, the Cisco PIX, Cisco IOS firewalls, and the firewall service module. So in summary, our training program consists of workbooks and some video content focused on providing practical solutions for deploying various solutions in the real world. Ideal for network engineers and consultants who want the necessary information for deploying a functional network solution and getting to the point of what network engineers really want. Our training workbook are focused on four major components for learning. They are the concepts, design, step-by-step -step configuration, and monitoring. This is what we call CDCM for Concepts, Design, Configuration, and Monitor. There are three ways to obtain this new Cisco ASA and Firewall Workbook. First, you can purchase the individual workbook under the Security Solutions Group, and you have 30 days to download your content and access to any updates during that time. Second, you can purchase the Security Bundle, which contains all security and tunneling services packages including this new package in our collection. If you have an active subscription to the security bundle, you can, download, you can download your content now. And third, you can purchase our master collection, which contains all packages, including this new package in our collection. If you have an active subscription to the master collection, you can download your content now as well. Both bundles or collections provide you a full year of new updates and additions, including other benefits available for active members. We thank you for watching our video. You can get more details on this training workbook at routehub.net slash firewalls.